ready when you are, bro. Right, hopefully you can hear us. Um, today, we're filming with Spencer's Mini. Hello. Um, it's, how old is it? Uh, 1995. So. 1995, so it's older than me and him, because he's actually a day older than me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that old for a Mini, to be fair. It's one of the newer ones. Yeah. Of the classics. <laughs> of the newer classics. Um, but yeah, today, we're just gonna walk you through it, what you ran the car, obviously it's it's in very good condition. I'm gonna show you around the car in a minute. But um, Spencer just wants to introduce himself. What's your um, what's your Instagram and what's your YouTube if you've got one? So Instagram is Green Stop Mini. I'm gonna be uh, just documenting the build process basically. YouTube yet set up, but I'll probably go with Green's Garage or something. I'm gonna get it set up later, so I'm sure Sam will link it. Yeah, yeah, of course. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, just gonna walk you through it and then we're gonna go out in it and you're gonna see that this is basically a go-kart <laughs> and it, I've, I've been on it been, uh, been out in it briefly just going down these back roads and honestly you not we're not going fast but it feels <laughs> it like feel, we're going it fast. fast it's it a completely fast. different thing to my 140 so uh, if you're not already consider subscribing consider commenting let us know what you think and obviously check out Spencer's Insta and YouTube once it's set up so yeah we'll catch you in a minute all right so here it is and here's Spencer here she is <laughs> so what color is this um it's down on the logbook is brown brown I brown cars <laughs> cool <laughs> I see it as more of a beigey sort of yeah I don't know how it's coming through on the camera there. but it's it's like a very light brown and then the roof is a darker brown yeah. ignore the bird shit so it was painted by um the first owner who imported it into this country yeah um they've done it in this sort of weird brownie color but you can see where there's a few chips it was originally british racing green okay you can see it on the floor there as well just yeah yeah under the shifter <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you can see that. It's so like a tank colour, isn't it? Yeah, the car was originally green. Um, yeah. I'm not a massive fan of the colour. I want to get it back to green. Get the roof white. Yeah. And they've also painted all the chrome bits white. But they've not done a great job. You can see it's still chrome underneath. Yeah. It's got sort of a pearlescent look to it. Uh, yeah, the colour's really the only compromise I find that the car's got. It's <laughs> apart from that, it's in pretty good nick. Yeah, I, it, it does look really really clean like it you know if they were still making these cars today you wouldn't know that it's 26 years old yeah sort of thing yeah, that's it, the only thing it. that is dated is the fact that they don't make them and everything so modern now <laughs> um but obviously the fuel the fuel is really weird it's, is it in the back yeah i think it's unlocked i've got a lot of crap in this so do excuse me but the fuel tanks in there so it's like actually in you can see it in the boot and obviously yeah. this ain't a hatchback <laughs> this is a coupe as, yeah, I was, as I was told earlier. There's a bit of discussion about it. I consider it a coupe, two-door mm. coupe, yeah. Some people say it's a saloon, but I, I can't, I can't it, see it. It myself. doesn't fit it. it. I think it's its own thing. It's it's a mini, obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly. British tradition mini. Yeah, which is quite funny considering it's actually a Japanese model. Yeah, so this is actually JDM. Yeah, technically. So this is JDM German and British all in one. <laughs> no, the Germans didn't have their hands on them. <laughs> no, just not shit, quite. But uh, yeah, uh, what size wheels are they? They uh, these are 12s. 12s. So the these minutes. are 12s. They they don't look like 12s because of how small the car actually yeah, is. Yeah, they look bigger. Um, I will be going tens eventually. Yeah. Lowering it. I, like I was telling you, the car is standard. Yeah. Uh, bar the exhaust system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and obviously, if you want to go turn it on now, maybe yeah. show us the bonnet as well. Show us what. Show us the beast. What is it? A 1.3. Yeah, 12.75. 12.75. So. Not basically a 1.3 and obviously it's got the the rover badge there as well but yeah they, they don't look like 12 inch wheels just because of how small the overall car is full on workout again yeah 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 this is not the really, uh best of nick but it is out is there's no room in here no it, it's properly crammed in there oh yeah so obviously we've got the turbo here <laughs> the boost pipes yeah. no so run me through run me through what it is it's a 1.275 so 1.3 naturally aspirated 
four cylinder yeah that's pretty much it it's a standard a series really but obviously with it being a later model it is fuel injected okay yeah so like modern engines yeah as opposed to the older ones which are on carbs yeah and that's partly the reason it's got less room in the bay because you've got your ecu mm -hmm. um, and then with it being a japanese model it does have aircon from factory so you've got proper less room spec up here. this proper spec but um i think when i start chucking some more power through it the aircon and stuff will be coming out yeah, yeah yeah i'd like to put it back on carbs but i have heard if you go forced induction the injection model is better yeah obviously because the ECU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and so, like obviously, this is running how much? How many horsepower? From factory, I think about seventy-five. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's no slug. Well, it might have lost some over the years. You got to remember these modern small one-liter cars; they're only the same. And yeah. this is twenty-six years old, and it's running seventy-five brake. Yeah. yeah like for its time, it, for its time, this was probably fairly nippy. Yeah, I mean, everyone had one of these, man. And like you know, they used to race. Them. Yeah, so obviously this has got racing heritage, this car. Yeah, especially in rallying. Especially in rallying. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'd want to rally it, but no, hopefully definitely. Definitely. we're going to get a bit of a rally experience today with Spencer driving us. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, what are your plans with it as well? <laughs> Hello. Hi, right. oh, yeah. You're all right. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yours? Yeah, yeah. Add it back. So before we got interrupted by uh, an admirer, shall we say, <laughs> which apparently happens quite a lot with this car. Yeah, it's, um, like, it's like having loads of friends that you never knew you had. <laughs> yeah, and mainly over 50s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, let's, let's bang her on. Let's listen to this. So it ain't quiet? No, but like I say, the exhaust at the minute is the only part that isn't standard. Yeah. It is literally just a decal, a bit more of a straight back part. Yeah, a Krapovich tips the yeah. lot. <laughs> and then eventually, obviously, I'm going to go lower it a bit. I think high-low suspension, keep the original rubber cones. Yeah. Instead of going springs and high -low Yeah, because the suspensions... It, <clears throat> the thing is, these seats, I'll show you these seats and, and the door handle. Like, check this, it's like opening a window. So these seats are really padded. It's like sitting on a cushion. Um, so you don't really feel as much as the, the roughness from no, the, uh, the cone suspension, whereas it, it doesn't have springs. As you know, and anyone who's been in an old mini will know, it's just bouncy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It feels like you're driving a slow yeah, car. It's, it's not rough, it's, it's bouncy. It's, yeah. it, when you yeah. go over a pothole, you don't like break your back, but you do like <laughs> Sway with it. Yeah, I can't even show you because I've got like the the horizon leveling on the GoPro, so it won't even shake. But basically, you like sort of like a wave sort of thing. But um, I think we're just going to get a shot of Spencer rolling past, and then I'm going to hop in with him, and we'll go from there. For a little drive. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, so we're now in it, as you can see, proper little go-kart. Um, we're on these back roads, we're coming on to safety 30 in a minute, but I don't think we're wor worried about breaking no speed limits today. Nah, not like that. Not in a minute, but to be fair, I'm, I'm six foot, the seat is like all the way back, but I have, I've still got leg room, like I'm not cramped and my head isn't touching the ceiling either. So it's 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 usable even if you are tallish. I wouldn't I say if you're like six foot five trying to drive <laughs> it, then it's a bit of a push, I'm not gonna lie, that would be stretching it. But overall, there's no blind spots. Like compared to my 140, there's a blind spot there, there's a blind spot there. 
it's just it, it just this thing is like what do you call it a fishbowl yeah it's like, it's a, like fish a fishbowl thing. you can just see everything which does help because they are the mirrors <laughs> there's no mirrors here they, that's how you're seeing behind you if you ain't turning your head yeah they're not great either but um we're just gonna bang it past this bus hopefully we can make it fast before he pulls off smoked him Woo. but yeah the interior to say this is 26 years old it's it's a nice place to be in we've got the um, is it like is it wood yeah uh, wooden steering wooden wheel. motor leads a steering wheel these yeah. are worth a few pennies uh, the horn is actually there because <laughs> i was trying to find it when he first showed it me i was trying to find where the horn was and i was like it's obviously not there i'm like it's where the indicator is or is, is that the indicator? Isn't it? Oh yeah, that's the indicator. Yeah, well. yeah. Because I know sometimes on JDM cars they they swap them around, don't they? Yeah, obviously with this, they still build these in the UK. Yeah. So they're still on the left. Okay, yeah. Uh, but then they shipped them over to Japan. Yeah. Which is why everything's in kilometres an hour and I never know how fast I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> when you see a speed yeah. camera. Yeah. All, all I know is the hundreds about sixty. Is that right? Yeah. yeah Hundred kilometres about sixty. So. I got some uh, little stickers to yeah. pop on it along the way, but I've not put them on yet. Yeah, obviously that's that's the dash right there. You got temps. Uh, is that a rev limiter as well? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's your taco. And this is the dash. You could probably stick a hula hoop girl on it. One of them like dancing oh, ones. Them little Hawaiian girls. Or maybe a Churchill nodding head, but that's about it. That could be an idea. Yeah. That's it. That's it for the the dash. But uh, yeah, overall, <laughs> it's not it's not a bad place to be in. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, it surprised me. It really has. So yeah, I think we're gonna pull up to a car park, and I think Spencer might be letting me drive. Yeah, man. If he's cool with that, I'm cool with that. And then we'll go straight to POV. So we'll catch you in POV. Right, this is gonna be my attempt at getting in the mini. Hopefully. So you can't adjust the seats on the fly. So hopefully I can actually drive this thing. <laughs> I think crossed, I'm gonna be able to you now. Is that short? I give it a slam, mate. It's oh, I hate mini slamming thing. doors. It's a mini thing, man. You have to slam it. Oh, I don't like doing it, you know. I don't like slamming doors at home and I don't like slamming doors in cars. <laughs> well, I don't think there's any airbags to set off, so we're all good. Right. So I know I said I'd go into POV, but I thought this would be quite comical, trying to film me actually getting in. So we will actually switch to POV now. We'll catch you in a minute. All right, boys, we are rolling. <laughs> I'm in the driving seat and we are going to take this for a spin. So why has he got two brake pedals, bro? <laughs> oh yeah, you drive an auto, don't you? Yeah, I'm a little auto guy. So that's the clutch, yeah? Yep. So one thing so, to note, looks very stiff. You've only got four gears. Yeah. So don't, it's don't. a bit confusing. Okay. First is where third normally is. Right. In a normal car. Okay. Second's where fourth is. Third's where fifth would be. So I don't have to go second. all the way there. No, no. So it's still, just like still shove it over a little bit. But do you see what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. It is forward. third. Yeah. So handbrake yeah. off. That's the accelerator. Yeah. Yeah. And like okay. I say, I've only got. Four I'm looking gears. for the mirrors. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll wait till this van goes past, and then we'll head off. So no power steering, we're in first gear. The clutch is pretty much right there, the second you move it forward, yeah? Okay, and we're rolling, boys. Second gear. <laughs> second gear pull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is nothing, like you say, nothing like, so third. Yeah, weird gearbox, man. That is weird, so for, yeah, it's like I'm banging it into the pit. Yeah, when the guy sold it to me, he was like, tell you what, I'll, I'll knock you a bit of money off, you can get it into the first. Attempt. Really? Yeah, I didn't get any money on Oh, no. You should have done your research, mate. So, brakes are a bit spongy, I've been told, and I believe that. Oh, That's yeah. <laughs> it's like a workout. So, obviously, no power steering in this thing. Um, but it's all right, I'm gym lad. I'm trying to bang it into third. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, so, I'm uh, for the for the record I, this isn't my car obviously I'm not gonna be tizing it about I don't want to if I'm completely honest 
I want to stay on this industrial estate. Oh, um, get a little poke in second. But uh, okay, I'll bang it in second real quick. And. <laughs> if you could see my face, it's got a massive smile on it right now. Yeah, that's the thing about this car, man. It, it just makes you smile. Like everyone you drive past, it makes sense. Yeah, it, it's it is really it's it's nothing like this that you can buy today new that will give you the same sort of feeling. I don't think unless you're buying something like a go kart, honestly, because <laughs> it it's so strange. Like even the steering wheel is is tiny. And it's at an angle as well. Yeah, you kind of feel like a bus driver. Yeah, it, your knees up next to it. Like, and yeah, if, it, if, <laughs> if this uh, if this wheel was bigger, it would be like I'm driving a bus. So I'm gonna bang it down here and turn around. Yeah, look at you looking for the mirrors, man. I know it's it's getting me. How long does it take to you to get used to that? Like looking for the mirrors when they're there. Well, I'd say about three or four drives. Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose you do sort of pick up quickly. Yeah, I mean, when it's your own car, it becomes sort of yeah. second nature, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's like when I went from my manual to my auto. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. amount of times I went to push the clutch in. Oh, I, I did that when I like, that, so. <laughs> it was so weird. To, like, going for the clutch every time I want to slow down or change gear. It was, it was a weird experience, but you do get used to it very quickly. I'm glad I didn't have to reverse, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but yeah, this thing, honestly, you don't have to break the speed limit uh, to bad. have fun. Whereas if you're buying a car, like a high power car, like my car, something over 200 for it, let's say, you are gonna be breaking the speed limit quite easily. Oh yeah. yeah. And you, 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 you probably have just as much fun, but this is like safe, legal fun for the road. I know it's that's safe, man. well, yeah, I wouldn't say safe, <laughs> but you won't be you won't be worried about getting no tickets. Let's let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a, another taz around this industrial estate. I bet you're thinking, what is he doing to my clutch? Nah, it's all good, man. <laughs> but yeah, this is this thing. It's got some poke for it. I've done it again. I'm going trying try for third. Like I say, it's done way out and. Um, yeah. The steering is like something else, isn't it? You just yeah. sort of breathe on the steering wheel and the car's going with yeah, you. Yeah, like, I'm not... Once you move in, you can't tell you haven't got power steering no, for no. obvious reasons. But when you... like, it's, it's a nice steering wheel. It goes where you want it to and there's no delay or anything because it's all mechanical. There's no electronic or hydraulic steering in this thing. That's, that's why they did so well in the race series. It's yeah, it's all, all literally... It's I literally mean, where you point, you go in. That's exactly it. So I'm putting it to four. And we're just cruising right now at 50 kilometers, which I think is like 30. It's about 30. It feels like 30. I mean, I tend to go through speed camps at 50 kilometers. Now I have no issues. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we don't know how accurate this thing is as well. Yeah, that's Like, exactly uh, it. what? how many miles has this thing got on it, on uh, the clock? Around 30,000. I mean, there's someone on my ass right now, so obviously not speed up. So it's in, yeah, it's in fairly, fairly good nick. Yeah. I mean, you don't see these come off with 30k miles anymore. No. It just doesn't exist. Well, no, this is a, it's a rare car, this, if with the mileage and everything. Yeah. And you, you got it for a decent price, didn't you, as well? You don't have to say how much. Yeah, yeah, I got... It was a good price. Kind of a bargain, actually, and the guy lived on the same estate. I mean. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, really. Yeah. And obviously, the guy wasn't just going to sell it to any dickhead. He wouldn't have sold it to me. <laughs> <laughs> but he will sell it to a guy like you, who loves this sort of car. Obviously, you had your Micra, you're a big fan of these small cars. Yeah, you know me, man, I like oh. slow cars. I mean, I had that Fabio that was 230 odd brake, but yeah. it never made me feel. It's it's a thing. completely different feeling, this car. This is like, honestly, one of the most fun cars I've driven <laughs> without breaking the speed limit. Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't like breaking the speed limit. It, it just makes, <laughs> yeah, it right. puts me on edge. I mean, I do it. Say it, wait, I it. do it on track, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Um, in Mexico and everything, but you know, just like on UK roads, even with this suspension, it doesn't. It, it it's it's fun. Yeah. It really yeah. is fun. And that's what it's all about, man. It's if the car makes you smile, it makes you smile. Exactly. You 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 say you can't buy happiness, but I <laughs> I say buy a mini and take it down some back roads, tazzing about, 
Yeah, you're definitely, definitely going to come home happy. And when, when I start putting some more power through it as well, we'll have to go back out. Oh, definitely, definitely, there. definitely. 100%. I can't wait to get this thing back on our channel once it's It'll be absolutely <laughs> killing it at 200 odd break. Yeah, time and money, time and money. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But um, with that being said, hopefully you can see. We're going to call it here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And mind the dead hair because I've just had my hat on. But um, yeah, obviously check out Spencer on Instagram. What is it again? It's Greens. Greens dot mini. Greens dot mini. It used to be shitbox something, didn't it? It was Greens Green shitbox. Greens dot shitboxes. Yeah. Uh, that was when I had like a clapped Bora uh, Turbo MX5 that I blew up. Yeah. Like, long story. Yeah. I've, I've had a lot of cars on it. Yeah. He's had a lot of cars. <laughs> but this one, I think, I think this one's staying. I have a feeling that this one is staying, and I hope so as well because I love it, and I've only driven it for like five minutes. So yeah, check him out on Instagram. I'll link his YouTube once it's all set up. You can check out his video, um, and yeah, obviously check my Insta, Sampot140, for all the updates and cars, and I'm, I will try and get a photo of the car and I'll bang it on and let you all know. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Subscribe as well. Peace.